All right, uh, let's talk about Shinsho. He's a support character, at least that's how I use him. And as you can see, I only have him on level 50. There's not any hidden stats I have on him. I have a bit of crit damage there. Some little crit raid uh, that comes through some uh, artifacts I've got on him. And yeah, a bit of a Hydra damage bonus, but these stats are only there because I'm kind of building uh, artifacts for a Hydro DPS character whenever I get one. So that's why he has uh, this much uh, crit damage or and crit rate. And yeah, he has also the bonus uh, for Hydro damage, but all that will go into my Hydro DPS whenever I get one. I'm hoping for Mona since I can't get Tartaglia anymore since his banner returns, which we don't know if it's ever going to happen. So for his weapon, I'm using the Skyrider Sword, and it's a 3-star weapon, so it's a blue one, as you can see here. Um, the main reason for that, I don't have the Sacrificial Sword here. I have it twice on my alt account, but I wasn't lucky enough to pull it once here. Um, unlucky, I guess. Uh, yeah. Whenever I get the sacrificial um, sword, I'll obviously exchange it to that one. Since uh, the sacrificial sword has a passive, that must be sacrificial greatsword. If I can find it really quick here. So what it does, as you can see here, after damaging an opponent with an elemental skill, the skill has 40% chance to end its own cooldown. Uh, can only occur every 30 seconds. And this is pretty useful, especially on uh, Xingxiu. As he has um, some massive, uh, some massive uh, cooldown on his um, elemental skill ability, as you can see here, 21 seconds. It kind of feels annoying when you cannot use his ability as quick as you can use it on Bennett. So the sacrificial great uh, sacrificial sword helps a lot on that. So I would recommend you to use the sacrificial sword if you have it for um, Xingxiu. But like uh, the Skyrider sword is not a bad option too. Like you get a bit of uh, movement speed if you use the elemental burst, which is also very great, and you use it very often. And yeah, so looking over the artifacts, I don't really have anything set up for him. Like you can use whatever you want. Uh, here, as you can see here, I have a flower from the Hydra set, a bit of crit damage, elemental mastery, and uh, yeah, defense. What I would recommend you actually uh, to build on Xingxiu um, is uh, Elemental Mastery as you basically use him to infuse your uh, enemies with um, Hydro status so that you can like maybe react with uh, Electro on top of it or freeze the enemies but like if you fr freeze them it doesn't do damage as far as I recall but, like you can also do Vaporize damage which is very nice so if you have a lot of Elemental Mastery the outcome damage uh, will increase if you look at this uh, stat here. If I were remove all my elemental mastery, all the damage, for example, caused by vaporize or melt would go down. So you should keep that in mind that um, elemental mastery really helps out on Xingxiu. And I should try or should start to build elemental mastery on him. Mm, looking over the feather. Here, as you can see here, it's a basic feather, some attack percentage, crit rate, elemental mastery, HP. Um, but yeah, you should try to get as much elemental mastery as possible. And goes for the this um, sense of Ian. I have no idea why I have a meta beloved set on him. I used to... Oh yeah, okay. I think that's the mistake I did. Uh, I used to have a energy recharge one, but I gave that one to Fischl, so I would re recommend you to use um, the noblest set on him. Uh, if possible, a fall piece set would be great, as if you can read, it says using an elemental burst increases all party members attack by 20% for 12 seconds, which is pretty good. Um, you should have at least one support character in your team um, uh, having a four piece set uh, of noblesse artifacts, in my opinion, so that you can buff your 
team's attack by uh, 20%. Uh, switching back to the artifact I had there. Um, on the goblet, I have hydro damage and some crit rate and crit damage. Basically, this piece is uh, for a future hydro DPS whenever I get one. So I'm ready and can just give it to him. I also have a different one. This actually suits um, Xing Shu a bit better, but I haven't leveled it up yet. I have a bit of energy recharge and uh, elemental mastery. And I'm um, actually, I should switch back this one but uh, we can have bigger reaction damage and uh, get the uh, elemental boy burst quicker and on the goblet I just have on the circlet I just have a crit rate and some crit damage just the basic stuff so looking over to his constellations I have him on uh, constellation zero it doesn't really require you to have any constellations all the constellations you get are some bonuses you can like take, but they're not really required. Like for example, the additional uh, rain sword not really required. What it does is basically give you more healing, or this one increases the hydro resistance. It's quite nice bonuses, but it's not really required to make Jingshu work. And yeah, looking over the talents. What you really need to focus on, or you don't really need to focus on, but like I decided to level up uh, my uh, elemental skill and elemental uh, burst so that I can deal a bit of a bit more uh, hydro damage. You don't really need it if you really want to use them just to create elemental reactions uh, or maybe take down a pyro abyss mage shield or something. Then you don't really need it as the hydro. Alone, the existing of the hydro element will do a big portion of uh, their shield, so you don't really need to level up the talent itself. Same goes for like uh, characters like Barbara. You can run them on level one, and they will do the same amount of damage to a uh, pyro shield as if they were on level ninety. So yeah, that's basically it with my um Xing Shou. All these uh, artifacts, weapons, and attributes, and talents. So, on what type of uh, combination do I run uh, Xing Shou? I always combine Xing Shou with uh, Qing, as uh, she's a Electro character, and if you, for example, use um, Xing Shou's um, ultimate, all the attacks I do now will be supported by um, these water swords, and if I Add some electro to my attacks. Obviously, we can create a uh, electro charge, and that will create some little AOE for my characters. Also, will allow me to do more um, electro damage overall. And that's how I use uh, Xing Shu basically. He, he's just there to support uh, my Qing, or for example, uh, combine him with uh, Bennett to create vaporized damage to double up the pyro damage output. And yeah, that's it. I hope you found this helpful and uh, if you did, maybe subscribe, maybe leave a like. See you then.